Hi everyone, it's naturally Melissa. Today, I want to take the time to encourage peace and solidarity between the Asian community and the Black community. So, it's February right now, and it's been an interesting month because number one, it's Black History Month in America, and number two, it's Lunar New Year. Lunar New Year uh, falls within February this year. So the Asian community has been celebrating Lunar New Year and the Black community has been celebrating Black History Month and celebrating um, success and excellence within the Black community. But you know what else also been going on? A lot of hate, a lot of police brutality, and a lot of racism, not only towards Black people, but also towards the Asian community. So I'm biracial. I'm half Chinese and half Jamaican. So I feel like issues like this hit me way more than other people because I have toes in both cultures. So let me step back a little bit. It's been almost a year ago since the pandemic started. And since the pandemic has started, a lot more Asians has been the target of hate crime because it's not like Asians haven't been the target of hate crime or racism before. It has been happening, but people have been using the pandemic as an excuse to target Asians, even if they're not Chinese. They just target Asians, use it as a reason to target them. And they, they say things like, you know, oh, go back to China or Asia. Uh, you know, you're here to kill everybody with you creating this virus and spreading it, even though it's not true. Uh, and then while all of that is going on, George Floyd incident happened last year. And there's been a lot of protests uh, in within the Black community, and many people joining the Black community protest against that and asking for justice for George Floyd. So, in summary, I think the Asian community and the Black community has suffered a lot, not just the past year, but also the past many, many years since first coming here to America. So recently, there's been a lot of hate crimes and police brutality against Asian Americans. So I'll give some quick examples. So in my state, in Pennsylvania, there's been a case with Christian Hall. Uh, one or two months ago, he was gunned down by the police on Interstate 80 uh, for no reason. He didn't have a weapon. He was having a mental health breakdown. And when the police went there to check on him, he raised his hands, but they shot him dead instead. So there's been a lot of protest in this state and other places, justice for him, because it's gone down for no reason. Christian Hall is Asian, and I believe he's an Asian teenager adopted by a, uh, by a um, multiracial couple. Uh, his adopted dad is black and his adopted mom is, is Asian. Then you have another case going on in, I believe is California, uh, where um, a Navy veteran called Angelo Kinto, he's from the Philippines, uh, came here to the, from the Philippines many years ago. He joined the Navy and was honorary discharge. And recently he was, he, he had an emergency at home. The family called the police, hoping the police can help them. But the, when the police got home, the police instead handcuffed him and kneeled on his neck. That sounds really familiar, huh? <laughs> so unfortunately, Angelo Quinto passed away due to that. And now there's been a lot of investigation going on as to what happened. Uh, why did that even happen in the first place? And then we have a lot of um, hate crimes 
against Asians. So there's been, especially in places in America that's heavily populated by Asians, uh, for instance, California and New York City. One of the biggest headlines is uh, that case with an 84 year old um, elder from Thailand in which it was caught on camera, a black kid, a teenager, ran towards him and pushed him on the ground. And unfortunately, the elder um, passed away two, two days later. So with the recent surges of crimes against uh, Asian people, there's been quite a lot of protest uh, and rallies this month in February um, to get more media coverage um, and to get get more people talking about um, about these incidents uh, because I feel like we're focusing a lot on black people getting justice, which is a good thing. But uh, we may not realize that other minority groups are also the target of racism too. Now, unfortunately, um, there's been bad blood between the Asian community and the black community, especially this high profile incident where a black kid um, pushed the elder and he did die a few days ago and he's currently going to trial right now. Um, even though for the most cases is white teenagers or white men committing these hate crimes, um, the media was very quick to focus on this one case where this black kid decided to go and push this elder. Um, no, that was not a good thing. Shouldn't that happen, obviously. But anyways, there's been a lot of um, bad blood between both communities. So where do we go from here? It breaks my heart. I don't want to see people dying. I don't want to see any more people get hurt. You know, it breaks my heart. This is a really hard subject for me, you know, to see both sides of my culture being affected by racism like this. It's pretty hard. Um, so I strongly encourage the Asian community and the black community to seek out peace and solidarity. You are not each other's enemy. If you're Asian, black people is not your enemy. If you're black, Asians are not your enemy. You know what the real enemy is? Racism. White supremacy, uh, racist motivated hate crimes, police brutality against non-white people, and the model minority myth. I hate this term. I hate that white people created the model minority myth where they classify and rank minorities based on how successful and smart that they should be. Not they are, but they should be. And for a long time, it is led to believe that Asians are the smartest minority out of everybody else and that black people and Latinos, Spanish speaking people at the bottom. I hate that term. We need to get out of that term. That needs to go away. Just because you're Asian doesn't mean you're good at math. You're good at being uh, working in medis medical field or you're good in IT. There are a lot of issues that faces in the Asian community. Not, not all Asians are smart and rich. They're, they're just not. You have a lot of struggling poor Asians, just like black people that don't have the opportunity to grow in their careers and don't have the opportunity to go to school, you know? So yeah, I really ask that the Asian community and the black community 
to put aside their differences. As I understand, there are two very distinctly different cultures. You don't have a lot of people looking like me, trust me. Not a lot of Asians and black people are being friends or even getting married and having kids. It's just not a lot of me. So I understand culturally, very different cultures, right? But at the end of the day, I recognize the violence, the police brutality and the hate crimes in both communities. And because of that, you guys need to work together. You can't be separated and hate on each other. You need to come together, work together, and fight against racism together because these things are affecting both of you at the same time. So let's not point fingers and yell at each other and put the blame on each other when that is not the real enemy here. Racism is a real enemy. Both of you guys are being affected by that. So both of you guys need to come together and address that together in solidarity and in unity. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you later. Bye.